Hi, I'm John Womack Senior from Otters Rhysos. I'm going to show you all about uh, attached oval cuffing from SciTech. And uh, this is what we fit to quite a lot of our dry suits. Um, this is the one. Normally, it's a really soft seal, is this? It's silicon. It's a lovely soft seal. Fits the wrist really smooth. It's not so tight. Makes a lovely waterproof seal. And because it's oval, lets you get your hand in and out. And it's quite a small ring itself. The problem is, if you actually damage the seal, then you need to replace this. Now it will take normal um, latex seals, but if you put two fingers on there and push at the back, just do that a couple of times all the way down, it will come out like this. So we end up then with a, a stiff ring, which is this one, and would be the damaged seal. So all you do is take off the damaged seal, take a new one, Pop that onto there. Oops. It will go. Let me mind up. There we go. Now this one I've put on the final groove there. Let's push it in. All the way around. We'll click it in. There we go. A little bit faffy, but there we go. So now, all the way down. Just now getting it into that. Like this. There we go. So that's in there. We pop this into here like this. Right, because this has to slide in there like so. So all we do is take the widest part of the hand, so that's the top, and that's the widest part there. If I squeeze that gently there, and squeeze that gently there, it will all slide in like this. You can hear it click there. Right, so there we have new seal fitted, really in moments. And uh, put a bit of talc in to help it slide on. And uh, there we go, so that's a, a nice seal. This part of the seal is glued to the suit, so what we get is this in the kit. We get uh, this part which is pushed into the suit where the seal would normally go, uh, has, has to be a nice fit. We glue this and glue the suit and we attach that. It's really a factory fit or for somebody who's uh, quite a good do-it-yourself person. We slide that into there and this is what we put the seal on. So there's only two parts to it, which is quite easy. So I've shown you how to fit a silicon seal. And this is a normal latex cone seal. This should fit all a normal bottle seal. Um, in an emergency, you can fit anything, it doesn't matter. And all you do is pop that over the top, we go right over the very, very top, so you're on the outside and the seal will be showing. So that's it. Pull it all the way through so it actually comes right to the edge. Don't matter that it's showing a little bit, not at all. Here we go. Right. So that's like that. Push that through there and we pop that and make sure we go across so it's the oval is across your hand and then you push. And you squeeze all this together. And this is where you go with the wise draining board of it. That's it. Don't let it see you though. And there we are. So it's seals showing here. If you want to do it exact, you make sure the seals just back a little bit more, but that will work fine. And if you're diving for a week, or a month or don't want to get around to doing it, that will last, that will be dry and work quite well. So it's a fantastic uh, system for not getting stuck. So that's the Antares Oval wrist seal. This system must be glued on though. Uh, in general it can't be put on any other way. So we fit this on the suits as we make the otter suits. 
and uh, makes for a, a lot more uh, modern job than a standard seal stuck on dry suits. I'm going to show you how to assemble the gloves to go with the oval cuffing system. We showed you the Altadis one. Um, this is the glove system. In the box it comes uh, like this. Antares. And it's an oval system. In the box we get two sets, one for each arm. We get a green, a blue and a red on this hard ring here. What we do is decide which one we want. If it's a thick glove you would use the green one. If it's a normal blue glove or a black glove but a normal thickness which is similar to this then you would use this blue one. This is a new ring, this red one, which uh, is designed so that if you've got thick underwear uh, it doesn't trap the glove in the back of the cuff. So what we do is we decide which glove we're going to use. I think this one looks a good choice. Get the blue ring, we pop it in there about halfway down and just curl that over so we end up with half the glove inside the ring. We then straighten the ring like this and here you'll see there's a, a ridge inside. We just pop that onto there like this. Usually when I've started gripping it like this I pull the glove through just to give me so if I get any creases forming I can pull on that to get rid of the crease and I just push gently here just push and at the same time I'm pulling the glove slightly to make sure that we've no creases in equal all the way around No creases, checked it all the way around, no creases. Obviously if you have a crease there water will go through it. There is two o-rings on this, a black one and a red one. Just on there, They're complete and in place. So it's probably e easier once you've decided where you want this to cut this off with a pair of scissors so it don't get in the way. Otherwise I curl it back inside. Why a red one? This is new is this red one. This is surplus requirement. This is designed so that uh, in the old days when you put this on, if you had a thick undersuit, uh, you used to trap this and stop you getting it off so easy. So this has the little lugs stuck out. You pop it in there. This is into the Antares, the actual ring system. You push it inside, click it down till it clicks in. Pull the seal back up. Push it all up. seal to make it slide through that a little bit easier. This through there. There we go. So that's the system. We can dive with this, it will be dry. We can replace it with latex if I showed you in an earlier video or with um, a nice uh, silicone one. So that's what we end up with. But the sand's getting wet so what we do is we can use a thermal glove inside to keep the sands warm. And what we do is we, there's two lugs there, one there, one the other side. There's also a gap here. You put that halfway down the gap, like so. Sometimes it's easier to hold it against your body. Just squeeze it till it clicks like it, that click from here. So, so there we are. The glove system fit now, my inferior, my hands dry inside. It's easy to work a nice glove. To take it off uh, the easiest way you would have your suit pull in here. Right. See I find it easier to pull the fingers like this so I put a little bit of tension on it. You can put it against yourself but that's easier with the suit and you twist your thumb inwards and then outwards. Against something hard. Like this. So 
just run you through that again. That goes in there. You pop the two little lugs on the inside, making sure that the glove is there. You squeeze it till it clicks. Click. Make sure the bottom one clicks with it. That's it. I'm ready to go down again. To take it off, squeeze it. If you have the suit, it keeps it nicer and better. Get hold of that. Pull some fingers down, hang on to it so you can put a little bit of tension on this and at that. Then you turn that like this and off it pops. As easy as that. And this one's just. There we go. So there we have. That's the Antares oval cuff system. This is the new red ring that you find in the systems now. And looking at the instructions, it's quite difficult to understand what it does and where it goes. It's designed with these two, two lugs to stop the uh, glove when the two lugs go into the system, getting uh, trapped and pushed about by the Mongolina suit that comes down the seal. So this actually just pops in there, pull the seal through it. Make sure that the two lugs are opposite these slots um, that's there. And just get it so it pops in like this. You'll feel it click in when it gets there. Turn it so that it actually goes opposite those. Pull all the way around on the inside, making sure that that's it. Push the ring so that that's it. Push the lungs. These red lugs that's here then should be opposite this groove here or quite near. And if you're looking down and there's any black showing between the red and the black, this is the will be the seal that's trapped. So make sure you do a good job of pulling the seal out from underneath, and that's how it fits. Like this. When you get the ring system, it's designed. Obviously, no glove in this, but it's designed so that when this clicks in and goes into the glove system, clicks into there, that this just clicks in with the glove on. But you can see that this is stopping the seal pushing forward and holding that glove part in, uh, which makes it easier to, when you're twisting it to come apart. So it's just a little addition, that little red ring. That's how it fits. Push it all the way through. Make it so that the lugs can go on there and the duck stops the lugs getting trapped then when you've got your glove attached. And uh, then you can just twist it off. So we have some spare o rings for the uh, glove. One, two black ones and two red ones for, and those are the ones that just fit on there. If you want to catch them, we also have a little tube of uh, lubricant. Which is like uh, lipstick. Just screw a little bit out. This is designed to be put. Whoops. That. This is designed to be just run inside there, so it just runs nicely there. Um, and a little bit on your o ring here. Just a little bit, not a lot. Just so it fits that bit easier. Put the straw in. And, uh, really tiny you can use a McDonald's straw or anything like that and uh, that allows the air from inside the suit to come out through that straw if you actually put the glove on and seal it in make sure the straw is on the inside I won't click it all the way in but just for demonstration purposes there we go so as you go down you could get squeezers so you can just lift, lift your arm and let some air come in from your suit into your glove to just take the squeeze off. But then as you come up the glove will get really big and be a nuisance. So you put your arm down and squeeze some of the air back through the straw into your suit. So it also allows the warm air to travel from inside the suit to the glove. So it makes it quite good for that. So that's what you get in a little bag. You lubricant, your spare o-rings, two of these. But you can get away with... Um, when you actually put uh, some of the undersuits on, you find they have elastic in to put around your thumb. You can leave the elastic on and the air will travel up through that. Or you can, if you want, when you have a thermal glove like this one, you can put the thermal glove on like this. And 
and when you put the seal on, put the seal onto the thermal glove, like so. Straighten it out so it's not too much. And now when you put the, the glove on, the dry glove, the air can travel through the fabric on the thermal glove into this, or it can travel out of this dry glove back into the arm. So that works quite well. Disadvantage, glove leaks into your suit, get wet. If it's dry, which it should be, then this is not a problem and it's not going to go in so fast.